So this exercise uh, related to the moles, every session we'll do a question or two from this exercise. In the first question, it's related to empirical and the molecular formula. So we have the percentages are there. A compound X has a following composition by mass. 3.66% of uh, uh, hydrogen, 37.80% of phosphorus, and 58.54% of oxygen. Calculate the empirical formula. To get the empirical formula, what is step one? In step one, we divide the percentage or the mass which is given by atomic mass. So we have, like we have hydrogen is there, phosphorus is there, and oxygen. You can write in any sequence, it does not make difference, but better follow their sequence. Like in the question, it, if it is given hydrogen, phosphorus, and oxygen, so try to follow the same sequence. So first what we do, we divide by atomic mass, so it is 3.66, uh, this is 37.80, and 58.5. Using a periodic table, mass of a hydrogen is 1, mass of a phosphorus is 31, and mass of oxygen is 16. So when we divide 3.66 divided by 1, it won't make any difference to the value. So it remains 3.66. 37.80 divided by 31, that, that's equal to 1.22. And 58.54 uh, divided by 16, that's equal to 3.66. Now, what is step number two? The step two is we divide by the smallest value in the combination. So, which one is the smallest value in the combination? 1.22 is the smallest value in the combination here. So, we divide all of them by 1.22. So, 3.66 divided by 1.22, that's equal to 3. This will be 1 and this will again 3. So what is the empirical formula of this compound? It contains 3 hydrogen, so we can say H3. It contains 1 phosphorus and it contains 3 oxygen. So H3, PO3. Another question, like uh, another part of it. So this is how we work out the empirical formula. The next part, there is another compound Y which has an empirical formula of H3PO4. And it has a relative mass of 98. What is the molecular formula? So how we can work out the molecular formula? The molecular formula is empirical formula times N. And what is N? N is a molecular mass divided by empirical mass. So molecular mass is equal to 98. What about empirical mass? Empirical mass you can find from empirical formula. So hydrogen is 1 multiplied by 3, phosphorus is 31, and oxygen is 16 multiplied by 4. So 16 multiplied by 4, that is 64, plus 31, to so 95, and 95 plus 3 makes 98. So the empirical mass is also 98. 98 divided by 98, that's equal to 1. So the value of N is equal to 1. So if the value of N is equal to 1, the empirical and the molecular formulas will be same. Like we have H3PO4. The empirical formula in the N is 1. So if 1 we multiply, it won't make any difference. So the molecular formula will be H3PO4. Is it uh, clear? The second part, the first part, how we work out empirical formula, and the second part, using an empirical formula, we find the molecular formula. Anyone having a doubt or a question in this part? Uh, the next question is related to the moles. Question two. Uh, equation is there between a sulfuric acid and a potassium hydroxide gives potassium sulfate and water. And uh, the question is calculate the volume of 0 0.0625 moles of sulfuric acid that's a concentration of sulfuric acid is given. 
the complete when it completely reacted with 25 cm cube of 0.1 mole per dm cube potassium hydroxide to produce potassium sulfate use the following steps calculate the number of moles in 25 cm cube and 0.1 mole per dm cube potassium hydroxide so we have the mole, mole per dm cube we have concentration and we have volume and whenever we are solving we are solving Whenever we solve, we solve the first by formula. So which formula I should use to solve the first part? Because we have the volume and concentration of the solution. What's the formula? Volume into M cube by concentration. So moles equal concentration into volume or volume into M cube. Volume should always be in decimeter cube until unless they ask to convert into CM cube. So concentration is 0 0.1, but the volume is in CM cube. How to convert the CM cube into DM cube? You have to divide by 1000. So it will be 25 divided by 1000. So 25 divided by 1000 times 0 0.01. This will give us the moles of potassium hydroxide, which are used for uh, this reaction, which will be 0 0.0025. So we have 0 0.0025. Now the second part, because the first part we solve by formula, then second part, we need the moles of sulfuric acid. What we'll do? Formula ratio. What we'll use? Formula or ratio? Ratio. So we'll use the ratio because the first part is done with the formula. So second must be done with the ratio. And what ratio we'll take? We'll take a ratio between potassium hydroxide because this was potassium hydroxide we calculated and we need sulfuric acid here. So we take a ratio between sulfuric acid, which is H2SO4 and potassium hydroxide KOH. What is the ratio between them? According to equation, if we have one molecule or a mole of sulfuric acid, we should have two moles of potassium hydroxide. Ratio is one is to two. But in the question, we don't have two moles. We have how many moles? 0 0.0025. So we have 0 0.0025. So how many moles of sulfuric acid? X. We just cross multiply. When we cross multiply, it means that 2X equals to 0 0.0025. If we need X, that is equals to 0 0.0025 divided by 2. So we get 0 0.00125. So 0 0.00125 moles will be there for sulfuric acid. The third part, we need the volume of sulfuric acid. Look, there are two formulas which involve a volume. One is volume in DM cube, like moles equal volume in DM cube divided by 24. But this formula is only valid for gases. This is valid for gases only, like volume of a gas in dm cube divided by 24. But sulfuric acid for acids, alkali, salt, solutions, we don't use this formula. We don't have to. So then the other formula which involves a volume, that is moles equals. So first part we solve by formula. The second part we solve by ratio. The third will be formula again. And we have the formula that moles equal concentration into volume. Why we did not use this one? Because this is only for gases. Like volume of a gas, like oxygen is there, nitrogen is there, sulfur dioxide. In that case, we can use. Otherwise, we cannot use this. So we have the moles we calculated, which was 0 0.00125. Concentration of a solution is given what is the concentration of a sulfuric acid that is 0 0.0625 so 0 0.0625 and the volume is unknown this is multiplied other side will be divided so 0 0.00125 divided by 0 0.0625 when we divide this will give us a volume and that will be in decimeter cube what's the answer for this 0 0.00125 divided by 0 
So when we divide zero point zero two, so we get zero point zero two decimeter cube. But in the option in the question, like the last answer is given in cm cube. So now you have to convert the decimeter cube into centimeter cube. So to convert decimeter cube into centimeter cube, we multiply by one thousand. So zero point zero two five, zero point zero two multiply by one thousand. So that will become 20. So the final answer will be equals to 20 CMD. So first, if you see the most questions have a pattern, the first is always by using a formula. The second is by ratio and the third is by formula again. And if there was another part was there, fourth, then again, it will be ratio. Fifth part will be there, then formula. It, it's always a sequence, formula, ratio, formula. Is it uh, clear? These two questions, first was related to empirical formula and the second one was related to Mohl's part. Anyone having a doubt? No, sir. 